The invasion of Justice Mirio Dili's residence, located in the High Brome Tama district of Abuja, continues to receive widespread condemnation. The situation is made worse by the denial of security forces about any such operation despite eyewitness reports. This led to an order by the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, to the Force Intelligence Bureau to conduct a detailed investigation into the invasion. Barely a fortnight after, the police seem to have a breakthrough. They say it is an intricate web of criminality with the perpetrators impersonating various security personnel and professions to put up an illegal portrayal of legality. The crime was... A well-conceived one with actors drawn from different fields of human endeavors. It was a web-like arrangement with members of the syndicate having backgrounds in different fields such as law, journalism, banking, and even some rule law enforcement agents. Lawrence Ajudu is one of the alleged masterminds. He has an identity card which introduces him as a chief superintendent of police and a consultant to the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami. He explains his involvement in the matter. There is a mandate of 18 account in Nigeria given to me. Not that chamber they give, they give to me. Nigeria give to me. I'm in Nigeria. I'm not, I'm, I'm not from another country. I, this is my country. So they give me, they give me 29 account to recover. Not, they do not give to any chamber. I am the one they give. Malami give to me. But this assignment I went to, Malami do not send me. So that's it. I'm a consultant. I'm, I'm a recovery. So what? I'm a consultant. They give me nine account. What do you do for a living? Are you a lawyer? I'm not a lawyer. Another suspect, Stanley Nkwazema, claims to be a staff of this day newspaper, but the media outfit in the disclaimer has denied that he is their staff. He was publicly quizzed by the police about his role during and after the invasion. You were in that premises the day they failed um, raid took place. No, let me explain how we moved on. Okay, okay, yeah, let me explain. Simple. When we got to the place, were you there? When we got to the place with Barrister uh, Alex and others, yeah, not, not inside the premises, but at the gate. Okay, when we discovered now, that now number, listen to me. After on, that day, mm -hmm. there was a major outcry in the whole country. Let me know. Every, everybody from the media to the condemned it, mm -hmm. legislators, the judiciary, the police denied, EFCC denied, DSS denied, as an experienced journalist. Yeah. How come you did not reach out to your to the news um, medium you're working with and provide a big story that could okay. help tell the whole world the story? Okay. Why didn't you name and shame? Let, let me the explain. Team? Let me explain. In the night when I now when we went there uh, in the daytime and the thing, I said, ah, this is not the address this morning. And no, I'm coming. At the, the morning of that day, I called Barrister Alex. I said, Oh Mo, this thing that happened was not what this man told. Let him reach out to the attorney general. Same, of the uh, my question is why because he took you five lead. days before you eventually reported here. Arise news investigations reveal that contrary to the claim. Nkwazima is neither a staff of this day nor a contributing editor. The management of the newspaper company states that he was once a sports correspondent and resigned more than 15 years ago. But occasionally, he, like hundreds of other readers of the newspaper, sends for publication articles and analysis and is usually obliged, a privilege this day gives to some of its ex-staff. It is also noteworthy that the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation has also denied any connection with Lawrence Ajodo. The police says that they are committed to arresting the remaining seven members of the gang who are on the run, while announcing the set charges to be brought against the suspects, which range from conspiracy, impersonation, criminal trespass to perjury and forgery. Ferdinand Drohar, Arise News.